Internet, and welcome back to another episode of EBS e 생활 영어. I'm Megan Bowen. 안녕하세요, 여러분. EBS e 생활 영어의 선현우입니다. 반갑습니다. 선생님 안녕하세요. 안녕하십니까? <웃음> 네, 메가 선생님하고 저하고는 지금 이렇게 많은 카메라들 앞에서 여러분에게 이야기를 하고 있는 건데요. 음흠. 가끔씩 이런 TV 스튜디오에서 이야기하는 거 말고도 음흠. 무대에 서, 서게 될 경우도 있잖아요. Ah, right. 음. There are many cases where we might be on a stage. Yes, I think we're both kind of used to it. Yeah. 근데 처음부터 그랬는지 잘 생각해 볼 필요가 있어요. 그래서 음. 오늘은 이 무대에 섰을 때 느껴지는 그 긴장감을 mm-hmm. 가리키는 그 영어 표현을 여러분에게 소개하려고 합니다. Okay, and like usual, we, we're not just going to tell you today's keyword. We're going to look at the monologue, and through that, you will guess today's keyword. Okay, everyone, I'm going to sing you a song. It's <laughs> All right. So this next keyword is actually something that I do not and have never ever had, and that's when people are about to do some type of performance or some type of speech or just anything that they're doing in front of people. It could even be a small group, like in front of your elementary school class or anything. But you kind of clam up. You're very, very nervous. You can't perform the full way that you should in front of the group of people. So I'll give you a hint. The second part is fright, because you're kind of frightened to be in front of lots of people and to perform. And the first part is something that when you're watching a concert, the music artist stands on top of what? So you say that first, and then fright, and you have today's keyword. Okay, 설명을 듣고 왔습니다. Mm-hmm. 자, 그러면 오늘의 핵심 표현은 무엇인지 바로 공개를 해볼까요? Yes. So today's keyword is stage fright. Stage fright. 네, 우리말로 무대 공포증이라고 하죠. Mm-hmm. Stage fright. 물론 무슨 무슨 공포증이라는 이 말은 mm-hmm. 다른 것들이 있어요. 무슨 무슨 phobia라는 형태로 oh. 많은 표현들이 존재하잖아요. Oh, yeah. 근데 stage phobia라고는 잘안 하고 보통 stage yeah. Fright라고 right. 합니다. Right. 네, 그래서 더 생소하게 느껴질 수가 있는데요. Mm-hmm. Stage fright, 말 그대로 무대 무서움. Yeah, afraid of being up on the stage. I feel like if you were to say stage phobia, it would mean more like you're afraid of any stage, 어. if there's a crowd or not. 맞아요. Yeah. 사실 그리고 이렇게 생각할 수도 있어요. Mm-hmm. Stage phobia는 또 무대라는 그 물건 자체, like, uh. 어, 무대를 무서워하는 mm-hmm. 무대 공포증. 우리말로 번역하면 똑같은데 mm-hmm. 그런 느낌이 될수 있어서 yeah. 어, 오해를 살 수가 있는 것 같습니다. Right. Stage fright라고 말을 해야 이제 무대에 올라가서 사람들 앞에서 yeah. 마이크를 잡고 <웃음> 많은 사람들에게 말하는 것을 두려워하는 거 아니면 두려움까지는 아니더라도 mm-hmm. 긴장감을 많이 느끼는 거. Right. Just if you're really, really nervous, you don't have to be like super scared, but just very, very nervous as yeah. well. When you are very nervous, and it doesn't have to be on stage either. No. Just anything that you're doing, broadcasting in front of people. 맞아요. Like I said in the monologue, you could be in front of a classroom, 음. just in front of people, doing a presentation or what have you. 그렇죠. 음. 그래서 무대가 아니어도 상관이 없어요. 음. 무대와 비슷한 느낌의 상황. 예를 들어서 음. 선생님이 반 전체 앞에서 음. 책을 읽으라고 했다. 어. 아니면 직접 만들어 본 영어 문장을 한번 발표해 보라고 했다. 음. 그냥 하면 되는데 괜히 떨린다. Yeah. 괜히 긴장이 된다 그러면 I have Stage fright. 이렇게 말씀하실 수가 있습니다. Mm-hmm. 다시 정리하자면 무대 공포증인데 stage phobia라고 말을 하는 경우에도 의미가 아예 안 통하는 건 아니나 약간 오해 소지가 있을 수 있고 right. 일반적으로 stage fright라고 하고 남들 앞에서 발표하는 거, 공연하는 거 이런 것을 굉장히 떨려 할때 이런 yeah. 것을 stage fright라고 right. 합니다. That's right. Okay, so since we've gone over stage fright, in order to help you understand a little bit and get some practice using it, let's have a little conversation about stage fright. 네, let's have a little conversation like you said. Mm-hmm. 대화를 나눠보겠습니다. Okay. 자, 질문을 두 개를 준비해 봤는데요. Okay. 네, 여러분도 같이 대답해 주세요. Okay, let's start with the first question then. 네, 첫 번째. Mm-hmm. Have you ever experienced stage fright? Mm-hmm. 무대 공포증을 겪어본 적이 있으신가요? 있으세요? I can't remember a time where I was where I ever experienced stage fright. 사실 yeah. 독백에서도 그렇게 말씀하신 것 같아요. Yeah. 어 정말 대단하네요. Oh, really? <웃음> 네 보통은 이제 사람들 앞에서 발표할 때 긴장하게 되는 거 uh, 자연스러운 것 같은데. I don't know. 네, okay, that's great. So have you? You've yeah. ever, you've 
Have you ever experienced stage fright? <laughs> Definitely, yes. I have experienced stage fright mm -hmm. many, many times. Okay. I don't have stage fright anymore. Okay. I think I'm used to being on stage. I'm used yeah. to doing public speaking. Mm -hmm. 사람들 앞에서 이야기하는 거, 발표하는 mm -hmm. 거. 천명이 있어도 이천 명이 있어도 더 이상 떨리지는 않는데 진짜 어렸을 때는 음. 학교에서 선생님이 일어나서 발표하라고 하는 것도 무서웠고. 아, so when you were a student and yeah. your teacher called on you to, you know, read something or to do something 음. in front of the class, you yeah. were you were very nervous. 맞아요. Right? 그리고 공연 같은 것도 취미로 했을 때도 관객이 열 명만 있어도 긴장 됐었어요. Oh really? So back then, even if you did a performance and maybe there were only like ten people there, you would still be nervous. Exactly. Wow. But then I overcame my stage fright little by little, yeah. and I think it's completely gone. That's good. Hmm. So what about you guys? Do you have or experience stage fright when you have to perform? Visit us online and let us know. And if you do, then maybe you can overcome it as well. 네, 이거는 누구나 극복할 수 있는 부분인 것 yeah. 같아요. Mm -hmm. 개인적인 경험으로. Mm -hmm. All right, stage fright에 대한 두 번째 질문 드리겠습니다. Okay. So. What do you do when you are nervous before doing something? 음. 무대에 올라가서 하는 거 아니더라도 어떤 거 하기 전에 긴장될 때 있잖아요. Uh -huh. What do you do? 어떻게 하면 좋을까요? Ah, so I just tell myself nothing. There's nothing that's going to be that bad, oh. and I just go for it. Yeah. And if the result is bad, maybe I'll learn and can do better next time. That's a good way to look that's, at it. That's kind of why I feel like I'm never scared. I'm like, well, this is me. Mm -hmm. you take it or leave it. <laughs> Take it or leave it. 이것도 재밌는 말이에요. Take it, 물건이 있는데 yeah. 테이블 위에 물건이 mm -hmm. 있는데 Take it or leave it. Mm -hmm. 마음에 들면 가져가고 마음에 안 들면 놔둬. Yeah. Yeah, this is me. 나는 이런 사람이니까. Yeah. Okay, I think that's exactly what you are like. <웃음> 그 매너 선생님의 이야기를 정리하면 별로 나쁠 일, 나쁜 일 생길 일 없으니까 yeah. 그냥 하면 되겠지라고 mm -hmm. 생각하는 거고요. I think I look at it in a similar way. Uh -huh. I think about the Worst case scenario, mm -hmm. 가장 최악의 상황을 생각한 다음에 yeah. I think about how probable that is. Right. 진짜로 그게 확률이 얼마나 되는지 생각해 보면 별로 그럴 일이 없잖아요. So, right. Yeah. yeah, it's never going to be as bad as you think, usually. Okay. So our little message is let's be realistic, maybe. Mm -hmm. Let's mm. be realistic and try and overcome that stage fright. 네, <웃음> 좀 현실적으로 생각해 보면 크게 잘못될 일은 없으니까. Yep. Okay. Sure. All right. So, since we finished our conversation, we hope you can fully understand stage fright. But before we move on, we're going to look at the monologue one more time. Okay, everyone, I'm going to sing you a song. It's... <laughs> All right. So, this next keyword is actually something that I do not and have never ever had and that's when people are about to do some type of performance or some type of speech or just anything that they're doing in front of people it could even be a small group like in front of your elementary school class or anything but you kind of clam up you're very very nervous you can't perform the full way that you should in front of the group of people so i'll give you a hint the second part is fright because you're kind of frightened to be in front of lots of people and to perform. And the first part is something that when you're watching a concert, the music artist stands on top of what? So you say that first, and then fright, and you have today's keyword. <laughs> 